I'm getting this energy that the collective is feeling discontent with their situation, whether it's a living situation, work situation, uh, relationship. Um, it just feels like there's this general air of wanting to leave something and move on to something else. Also, like someone is going through uh, an ex existential crisis or something like that. People just seem really unhappy at the moment. This could be something you're going through, whether or not it's you that you, you just don't feel happy about something that's going on or you feel like you're surrounded by unhappy people and it's kind of affecting you in some way. But at the same time, you're still sure of your own security and your own health, your own happiness. It, it feels like some somebody's going through a depression with this Ten of Cups. It's like almost in reverse. Like there's like the waves, like there's waves in motion right now. And maybe somebody is just not recognizing their situation and uh, failing to feel or show gratitude for what they have. Like it's almost like just like a kind of like a boredom, like somebody's bored. But they're bored with the reality of what they've chosen in their life, like the reality of having to support people or take care of other people. Like somebody's just not happy with their job. And it's, it seems like this unhappiness is something that needs to be worked as whatever, wherever you go, you're going to have to help somebody. Like that's just part of life. But it, yeah, it seems like this person or this group or collective here that's resonating with this energy, whether it's not whether or not it's something that you, that's surrounding you, like people that are in a good place or in your uh, opinion seem to be doing well, but they just seem to be also going through life like they hate themselves and they hate the world. It's like if we traded positions. You know, you would really know what it feels like to have to struggle. It's almost like kings and queens that are that are complaining about life and wanting everyone else to do something for them. So it is what whichever side this is, whether or not you're the one in power or you are the one who's serving, but yet you still have the power because you're grateful for your situation or you know that things could be worth that's what i feel like this energy is really going on like this that's what this is about this eight of cups like somebody's walking away from a good thing but they don't recognize it as being good because they're sick of it so i feel like this could be coming from someone who's just sick of dealing with people who are constantly complaining and not looking at the fact that they have their health and they have their wealth or whatever, the, whatever the case may be is like, okay, well just get over it already. But also like this very same person is over it and they're just ready to walk away, leave. This could be a relationship. Like maybe this person that you're dating is like everything that you could have wanted, but they're just so unhappy and miserable and constantly complaining. Somebody is going back and forth, whether or not they want to stay also, this could be something internal, like whether or not you want to continue dealing with this or is this something that you genuinely need to push through? Like you might be better in the long run if you stay true to this commitment, nine of swords, but it does feel like it's overwhelming and somebody definitely wants to quit. That's the vibe I'm getting here. Somebody wants to quit. Um, this could have to do with a father, a future husband or father-in-law. Someone who is wise in many ways. <clears throat> I've, been feeling, I've been hearing people coughing lately, and now I also have a cough. So I don't know if it's something going around. <clears throat> it could be the seasons changing and this weather just being so different. Like people may be being affected by the weather changes in some way. Like they just don't know what to trust, whether it's cold, whether it's warm. 
<clears throat> yeah, it seems like things are going to settle down at some point and then it's going to be whatever it settles into is going to be very clear that this is what's going on. Shadow self. Now is the time to work on your shadow self. Yeah, because whenever these changes, the dust settles and these changes really solidify into what is actually happening here. I feel like it's going to be set in stone. Like I'm almost seeing like, uh, like, uh, what is it? A fossilized, uh, uh, skeleton. Somebody's father could have passed. I'm, I'm getting this weird vision of Mufasa in the sky, like somebody, or even someone's answers speaking to them from heaven or the sky or the universe or your higher consciousness like there's some information coming downward someone realizing some things about themselves or their life path maybe that this life that you have maybe they thought they chose it but it's always been chosen for you like this is just a path you were destined and someone is finally seeing the, the the pieces coming together. Like everything is starting to fit in its own space and its own place. And it, it's like the strategy that you had all along. It's been kind of like almost like, like on overplaying a machine. The machine already knew somehow what, what the next move was going to be. Yeah, like somebody is really following your rhythms and really understands how you, like someone is really studying you. But there's no animosity, there's nothing weird or creepy about this. It's just part of nature. Like nature is really tapping in to your energy as you set down within your, okay, okay this is a space. Nature is realized, is realized, is dependent you can trust in you like the weather is setting settling into you or like the storm that you've been going through being in the eye of the storm or whatever the case may be with that situation seems like um, this safe space for the energy around you maybe you were the one causing the storm causing people to feel unsettled because you didn't trust them You didn't trust them to get too comfortable around you. So you kind of like chipped away at their self-esteem a little bit to, to keep them on edge and keep them from resting on you or leaning on you. And now it's like something has changed. Whereas though maybe you gave up, like you just, the moment you say you don't feel like dealing with them anymore, that's when you rest on your And so they decided that they still want to be dealt with. Things are you're definitely looking at, at this situation from a different angle. And also like you being tortured in a way. Someone is admitting that this is torture, whatever they're going through, and they just giving a surrender to it. Being tortured, even if it's you being a celebrity, is yeah, like it just hurts to be loved and watched as often as you receive this energy. Very real. I feel like somebody, somebody is getting this vibe that that, that you are strong. I'm seeing a strength card in reverse, but you are saying like this is no, like this is me giving up. I'm weak. Somebody is saying like I can't take it anymore, and people, your admirers are just looking you straight in the face and saying yes, you can. You know, like you can do anything you set your mind to, and it's almost like. They're inspiring you to keep on doing whatever it is you're doing that they love so much. And also, it is you giving up in some way. Like, you don't have to do anything to be loved by this group. That's what I see in the collective right now. Like, like people just exalt love and attention that they're receiving even the way they view things seeing that people could be haters and this that and the third but they know deep down that people love them they just it's like they're just tired of 
putting things in that uh, perspective. Again, I'm, I get a sense that people are feeling bored with their situation. But also, like, it, it's, it's not a matter of seeing things a certain way because eternal. I feel like that's what they're bored of. Somebody is looking for inspiration. They want to feel inspired in a way that they haven't before. Almost like they're walking away from their situation and just to find something else to analyze, pick apart. Like they want to start a new program. Somebody here wants to start a new business, possibly. Something that's completely different from what you're doing. But it's also related to what you've done. So somebody could be putting together a resume and just going out and finding some work that's like just keeps you busy. But it's still going to be related to your art or your whatever it is your your calling is in this at this time. So it could have some something to do with your emotional stability. Like the fact that people rely on you emotionally is coming up here. That's having significance to the work that you're going to be getting yourself into. You could be a spiritual healer. Like you've had all the healing you can take. And now it's time for you to go out and heal other people. Like somebody is definitely graduating from a state that they've been in an emotional state of just kind of hearing your own thoughts repeating back to themselves, even if it's other people just constantly agreeing with you. Like somebody wants to to meet up or link up with somebody who's actually going to challenge them in a way, who can give them a fair fight. The, and that's what I'm getting like, like it's not done fighting. Like they want to give up on a certain, on a, on a certain, uh, it, but they don't want to stop fighting. They want somebody to continue to challenge them and, and give them that pressure. It's like addicted to the pressure and they like to feel weighed down. Again, this could be you I'm talking to or something you're dealing with. I'm not exactly sure who is dealing with. Or this could just be something you're experiencing. Like, is a still like you feel like you're in a stuck energy of things constantly repeating themselves yes somebody definitely needs to start a new challenge their minds in some way challenge their minds make them think about things um the word is stimulate like somebody is looking for stimulation especially mental stimulation that you're you're gonna start that's really challenge you and have you really really on the same and then the book is any way you think and your whole world changes Yeah, you have a lot of choices at this time. Someone is living in luxury. I feel like, and whoever this is, is very aware of their position. Like, like you, that you have a good, good, right? Know that things are doing you well and doing good or for you. But it's also the sense that you needed that challenge that got you to where you are. To be in this abundance. You needed that pressure or you still need that pressure. Someone is, someone needs to be honest with themselves or what is going on. If this is somebody who is feeling uh, uncomfortable or agitated or, or like faded to the space and now the space is not good enough, not to get involved in something that's going to just throw you in a totally different direction to kind of to reevaluate the situation. And really decide if this is this is not what you want. 
almost feels like a housewife situation. Like someone wanted to get married, wanted to have kids, and they're alone in the house and bored. So, you know, instead of changing your entire life, all you have to do is get a hobby and really invest yourself, your emotions into that hobby. Especially if it's something that you genuinely care about, you're genuinely passionate passionate about. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as you enjoy doing it. It's like you satisfied. Uh, something that if if you can imagine someone trying to, to take from you or snatch from you, you would just grip it tighter. Like there's no way that someone can pry this from your hands. It could have something to do with someone else, helping someone else, giving back, like investing in someone else's future to the, to the extent that their future is your future. Someone could be taking care of their father. Like, instead of putting him in a nursing home, someone decided to keep him at home and just make him part of your world, part of your daily life. I just saw the will of fortune. Someone's definitely getting paid for whatever it is they're doing. Like if it, if it was a choice you made, um, impulsively, like taking on this extra responsibility or caring for someone's need in a, impulsively, you're still going to benefit from it in some way. Okay. You have unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. Well, somehow this, this character look kind of looks like she's judging the situation at the same time. It kind of looks like she's unhappy here. Um, that's what I'm, I'm, this honesty could possibly be about. You being honest with yourself or honest with the situation like if, if this, is this is this is this something really something that you really want <clears throat> or is this something that you did just to not be bored because it seems like at the end of the day you still end up being unhappy love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion yeah, gratitude is definitely the key here and be grateful for your situation. I just feel like I'm talking to someone who has it all. Everything you want or ever wanted. It it doesn't have to go by anyone else's standards but your own. If this is something your life, if this is something that you chose for yourself and then once you get it, you have to now learn how to do it. And that's that's it. It's it's not a matter of wanting or a change of mind. It's just a matter of feeling that gratitude. Maybe you weren't allowed to feel gratitude before because you were so busy chasing this dream. But now that you have this dream, that's that's the the, the natural next step is to be happy. I spend my entire I spend my time. Why you say yes when it's we? Heck yes. Yeah. So somebody. Learn how to say yes at this time, and they can say they have said it before. Didn't have what they want. It was is, is these manifestations are very real to you. Somebody's not exercising delusion. Movie, yeah. Someone's not living in a fairy tale world, and pretend they're there. I feel like we're. Is you're really building that dream by yourself, even if it's just sitting at home and relaxing with a pet and a cup of coffee or a tea. You have connect with your ancestors as your ancestors being all that you need. And that's what I'm getting here from the beginning is you connecting with this ancestor, this father figure, like this lion in the sky. It could be your strength here. You connecting with, with your and knowing how strong you are and having to tell yourself that you can't do something momentarily, even if it's just to appeal to someone who loves that weak side of you. 
journaling. Someone's going to be doing some journaling. Journaling more. Or even possibly writing a script or just following this script that you do yourself and possibly a vision board that you've created for yourself. Actually following it to the T and writing on that board somewhere to be grateful as well as appreciating yourself, appreciating your life. Write a gratitude list. Yeah, that makes sense. Making gratitude part of your vision. Rest and relaxation, consider gratitude because you're only grateful for what you have. For some people, it's not about, you know, speaking into existence like you really want it in your hands to say thank you. Thank you for what you've done, you know, for yourself. You think you you think yourself once once you get that justice, the justice could have something to do with uh, not having at some point, or also like someone challenged themselves to go through this suffering and or at the end of, at the end of the day, and it could have taken years. It could have been a huge, huge risk. Accountants could look at this situation and say it wasn't, but something I spiritually <clears throat> there's a deep in head with yourself after it's all said and done even if the the money that you gain is it all evens itself out at the end of the day like it's, it's always been was in your account it's just a matter of how you spent it or didn't spend it maybe you chose to live a little poverty even though you financially had other options Or even intellectually, you could have done better for yourself, but you chose to stay committed to the situation with the eight of cups and rather than walk away. You chose to stay. And you were able to gain so much more from the experience because you could do it. Okay. Yeah, you've got a celebration coming towards you. And also people that admire you. People that see what you've been through just based off their uh, intuitive skills. They can see clearly that you are skilled in some way. Like they can see that you have experience. Whatever you chose to base your experience on. I'll just grab a few more. Yeah, and I feel like it's not something that you have to fake either. Maybe in the beginning you were faking it till you made it or consider faking it till you made it, but that's this is where you committed to struggle. Instead of being to be happy, you actually did the work to make yourself happy. And that's what's that's what's easily translated. Uh, across your unity is that you genuinely love being alive. And it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's very unique to you. It does. It's not based on what society is saying you should be doing or shouldn't be doing. Society actually has no, no act on how you feel about yourself. Success. And what you consider to be successful. Yeah, like what's, how is painted in the movies? And also like, again, you have control over this and you write this script. So you basically write the movie of your own life. If this is a metaphor you're comfortable using. Something that gives you pleasure. You decide what that is. And this is probably why you're going to be so inspiring to other people. I'm seeing haters of your success. The fortune card here. Somebody being disappointed by your success or just like the fact that you got away from them. 
they're experiencing a tower moment at this time by by you separating from uh this entity or this group that was keeping you in this state of not being happy or feeling like you were tied on in some way struggling even though you weren't struggling like you had to appear to be struggling um yeah so i feel like i'm gonna close this up just a little in a little bit let's pull some affirmations because it seems like that time is over for you to be in that state of mind of not being happy let's just pull a couple cards Because it really feels like this is a new world for you. And it's precisely the world that you mapped out for yourself. When you were doing the blueprints, you didn't you didn't say that you wanted a whole bunch of. A whole bunch of things to hold on and be possessive of as you have let them go. Yeah, whoever is disappointed by the fact that you're leaving a situation that you're not pretending anymore. Or you never were taking take control of your own narrative it makes a lot of sense here with, within this reading um it could very well be that your happiness just doesn't look like other people's happiness and maybe people think you're miserable but this is exactly what you want 